Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS F16C Viper video, we're going to take a look at the air to ground functions of the helmet mounted QE system or the HEMIX. And these include the ability to see your steer point or your sensor point of interest or speed through the helmet, as well as employment of inertially aided munitions like JDAM, JSON, and WICMID, and Maverick. Uh, you can also set your mark point through the HUD as well, all of which we'll take a look at today. First, we'll turn it on, of course. And I'm going to uh, go to steer point two, up at the island head where it has some targets. And if we look down through the helmet, we see a diamond now indicating the location of our current steer point. If I now go to air to ground mode, we can see we're in CCRP mode. And as such, we look over, we can also see the box and dot around the diamond indicating that that is our sensor point of interest or speed. Let's roll on in. And for a visual diving attack like this, I prefer to go to CCIP, better accuracy. Yeah, we can see our steer point indication through the helmet. So next, let's take a look at JDAMs. So I'll switch to my JDAM. You see it's powered on. Right now it's in pre mode. To use the helmet, we're going to need to go to visual mode. And we do that, we can see that the HUD is our sensor of interest, or SOI, and we have the box and dot uh, speed indication up on the HUD as well. But what I want to do is I want to transfer it now to the helmet. And to do that, I will press forward on the target management switch, or the TMS switch, greater than 0.5 seconds. Now we see it got moved over. If I want to move back to the HUD, I'll go aft on the TEMA switch. Let's put it back. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is use your head to place that box and dot on the point on the ground you want to attack. Then you can use the radar slew switch to modify it a little bit as you want. And essentially from that point, it's just a standard JDAM attack. Place it where I want, say about there, designate with team is forward. You can modify it using the slew switch a little bit. And again, just standard JDAM attack at this time. So line up my velocity vector with the ASL, I'm in range, and weapon away. Now, when we add the DTOS mode early next year, we'll also be able to do this through that bombing mode as well. Next weapon we're gonna take a look at is the Maverick. So we'll switch to the Maverick. It's powered on, go to the weapon page. It's already in visual mode. And again, we can see that the HUD is our sensor point, our sensor of interest, and we have the box and dot which is attached to our velocity vector. And again, just like the other JDAM, we'll go forward on the TMS switch greater than 0.5 seconds to assign it to the helmet. Let's roll back in. You see the circle, which indicates where our Maverick Seeker is looking. So place it about there. Now through the Maverick Seeker. And rifle. Okay, let's go back to the Smiths. So those are the current weapons through the helmet. Uh, now let's take a look at using mark points through the helmet as well. So as you might imagine, the first thing we'll do is we'll go to the ICP, select button 7 for mark. You can see that it's HUD. 
and we can mark it to the HUD just like we did before. But now, again, just like we did with the uh, uh, weapon systems, if we go TMS forward long, we now assign it to the helmet indicated by the circle over the aiming cross. And as you might imagine, what we'll do is we'll simply position uh, that HUD uh, helmet location at the ground location we want and press forward on TMIS to ground stabilize it and then press it one more time to set that as our mark point. So move my head where I want the mark point to be. TMIS forward. Now using the radar slew switch I can move it around as I wish. That's good. I press forward on the TMIS one more time and that sets the mark point. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this video on some of the new features coming for the Hemix, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.